So, hello and welcome to our new channel. So, there was an extra one year which created the error. So, remove it. Okay. Sorry for the problem. So, let yes, let's run it. See, this moves on our control, right? Let's go on. Yes. And now we'll create computer dot y is equal to ball dot y semicolon. Now this means that this black barrel will move with the ball. If the ball goes up, it also moves up and the ball goes down, it moves down. So this will never leave the ball, right? Now we create the if conditional statement and under it we write in the parenthesis ball dot x more than 400 or, or ball dot x less than less than 0 now this gives us so here we'll write ball dot velocity x is equal to 200 semicolon ball dot velocity y is equal to 200 uh -oh, semicolon now ball dot x is equal to 0 semicolon ball dot y is equal to semicolon uh, zero and semicolon again now if we create another if statement and there we'll write if key down is like this and as we cannot forget to create a parenthesis for the if statement here I'll give space as we want, as I mentioned before, we want our control to be in the space bar key. You can give any comfortable key which you feel to be. Yes, and yes. Now, I'll give you ball dot velocity x is equal to 5 semicolon and ball dot velocity y is equal to 5 semicolon right now we create another if statement if ball dot is touching the t should be capital as you should remember now this you can easily understand what does this mean means if the ball is touching any target specifically here as a left edge means this edge where the clear pattern moves yeah then we give it an instruction to uh, display and text as I showed you in my preview so text and we have to create parenthesis and there we write in caps you lose and some some cool exclamatory marks Remove, we'll switch off the caps, create, uh, we'll give a comma and a space. Then 160 to be uh, actually it's 200, but when it starts from 200, it moves on towards the left. So we'll give 160 so that it sticks to the center, comma 200 as the width, comma. We'll give it a color over here. I'll give fill and under parenthesis and double quotes. Uh, I'll give blue. You can give any color you wish to, and under comma, you write text size. Yes, text size. There, you can give any size you wish. I'm giving 20, which is more than enough, and text font. Providing all this is not necessary as the computer has its defaults, uh, but it's cool for us, right? Oh, now see, I didn't 
give us semicolon now only a last part of the game is left that's bouncing now ball should bounce when it touches the top edge so bounce ball dot bounce off right now ball dot bounce off we'll write top and e should be capital of the edge similarly uh semi semicolon and ball dot bounce off for bottom edge and a semicolon now ball dot bounce off for the computer parallel basically but we have named it computer so we write computer and ball dot bounce off for the play parallel but we have named it as play to keep it precise yes now our program is basically over so we reset it because we have changed the program and then run it now as i press my space bar oh sorry see at this place then also we run it again and yes see it's working fitful and fine and super right so here you can see it's perfect so thank you for watching our channel and please don't forget to like and subscribe the video